a fun-loving designer dog. Yorkapoo is a cross between the Yorkshire Terrier and a miniature poodle. They have a double dose of energy and wits. Their small stature and friendly nature make them best suited to homes and apartments with adults or older children. Welcome to Keeping Pet YouTube channel. If you have been intrigued by this petite and feisty designer dog breed, continue watching. In this video, we are going to discuss all about this small hybrid dog. As Yorkapoo is a designer breed, there's not much history about the dog to discuss. However, the major purpose behind creating the mix was to get companion dogs for people prone to pet allergies. The gold breeders had in mind was to create a small and healthy dog breed that would trigger fewer allergic reactions in people with allergies. Given that both of their parent breeds, Yorkshire Terrier and Miniature Poodle, are highly intelligent, Yorkapoo is one of the smartest dog breeds. Besides being intelligent, Yorkapoos are highly affectionate and gentle, which makes them delightful companions. Yorkapoos are a perfect fit for dog lovers living in apartments as they are relatively small and super affectionate. If you're planning to adopt a Yorkapoo, keep in mind that they are highly active dogs and would require regular exercise or other physical activities to burn their energy. When they do not get healthy ways to expend their energy, they tend to develop behavioral issues. The Yorkapoos are usually 7 to 15 inches tall at the shoulder, weighing around 3 to 14 pounds. The size of Yorkapoos may vary depending on the dominant genes inherited from their parents. Sometimes, a fully grown adult Yorkapoo may reach the size of a standard poodle. Yorkapoos come in a variety of colors including cream, black, white, red, sable, apricot, tan, etc., with a variety of markings as well including black with tan points. Yorkapoos have low shedding, curly, or straight hair coats that are silky and luxurious when touched, even though old dogs in the world shed. Yorkapoos are comparatively low shedders and is considered a hypoallergenic dog. Even though the Yorkapoo shed very little, they require regular brushing and bathing. It is best to brush your Yorkapoo's hair daily, but if that sounds unmanageable, you should brush them at least once every two or three days to ward off the risk of mats and tangles and maintain the health and plush of their coat. Longer and curlier the coat, the more frequent the required grooming sessions. So, if you don't have time to groom your Yorkapoo daily, you can trim their hair. Unfortunately, many pet owners only emphasize the outer hygiene of their pets and snub the other important factors needed for a dog's healthy lifestyle such as oral hygiene. If you own a Yorkapoo and haven't ever paid attention to your dog's oral hygiene, it is high time you do so. As miniature dogs are known for developing dental complications, it is advised that you brush your Yorkapoo's teeth at least two to three times a week. Frequent cleaning is necessary to avoid tartar buildup and bacteria that may lurk inside the teeth of the dog. Yorkapoo is overall a healthy dog breed, but still some Yorkapoos may develop several health issues as they age. Epilepsy and mitral valve disease are the most common among Yorkapoos, but you should know that not all Yorkapoos will develop these health issues when kept with great care. Most Yorkapoos tend to live a healthy life without experiencing any health issues at all. Epilepsy is a condition caused by abnormal circuit activities in the brain. It is commonly believed that epilepsy is inherited, but it's not always the case. When experiencing an episode of epilepsy seizure, your dog may stagger or run frantically. If your dog is exhibiting signs of epilepsy, you should take him to a seasoned veterinarian for proper diagnosis and treatment. Mitral valve insufficiency is a common heart disease among dogs. The heart has four chambers, right, left atrium, and right, left ventricle. Each chamber has a one-way valve that allows the blood to flow in one direction. The valve between the left atrium and left ventricle is called the mitral valve. When the left ventricle contracts and pumps blood out to the body, it creates high pressure, causing the mitral valve to leak or wear out over time. This is known as mitral valve insufficiency. The earliest sign of insufficiency is a hard murmur. A seasoned veterinarian can easily diagnose it in a regular checkup. It is very rare, but your capoos may also experience pedal luxation, portosystemic shunt, leg calf purrs disease, hypothyroidism, hyperadrenocorticism, and atopic dermatitis. That was all about your capoos. If you found our video interesting, give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comment sections, and we will see you soon in another video. If you enjoyed watching this video, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for fun pet videos.